Yo, what is going on YouTube? We got a brand new video. Now in this one, we're going to be going over a Rao Paul clip. Okay, then we got some tweets to get into. Pretty much just trying to build a mindset for these current markets that we're in. We're going to be talking about current price action. Okay, a lot of important stuff and we're just going to hop right into it. I really think you guys need to listen to this. So please stay till the end of the video. So we're going to start with this. Pause the music. All right, here we go. How do you thrive in a time like this? So one, you have to have the understanding of the market, the macro trends, all of that to know what to buy. And then you have to have the psychological resilience that even though you feel it to your point, like I feel that we're down and it does not feel good, but it hasn't changed my behavior. And so because the thesis is still intact. Yes. And so let's look at other opportunities. So maybe not everybody likes crypto. Another thing that is patently obvious is technology is not going away. Now, it's not easy to pick the right technology stocks, much like it's difficult to pick the right NFTs or tokens, unless you really know what you're doing and or you, yeah, you know that particular company or that project. But if the thesis is that technology is going to continue to have this ridiculous adoption, whether it's AI, EV, whether it's robotics, whether it's genetic sciences, all of these things that are around us, space travel. Well, then if it's being sold in a fire sale because everybody's panicking, well, surely that makes sense because technology has outperformed the market for the last 40 years. So you always want to be buying technology. So if you're thinking of your 401k, you're a, you know, you're in your thirties, you look at your 401k, and you've still got your income because that's the most important thing of everything you've got your income you should be going okay i should be buying technology stocks and i should be buying crypto because these are long-term mega trends now is there so we're living in a very particular moment but one thing i like about ray dalio is his idea of this is another one of those is this like another time is there something that we can learn from historical trends that we could be applying to our investment thesis now? So the investment thesis, I don't believe so necessarily. There's a lot of macro similarities with the past, past episodes and everybody makes it very dramatic. There tends to be a lot of doom porn and I've been a proponent of that as well. You know, everything looks like the 1929 crash. Everything looks like we're going to go to World War II. Everything looks like, you know, it's 2001 all over again. Yes, those things happen. But things go on. And if you bought tech stocks after 2001 crash, you'd be very, very wealthy indeed. If you think of Jeff Bezos, he launched Amazon, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, has his IPO. It explodes in price. Everyone's like, oh, amazing, an online bookseller. It then falls 96%. Oof. Right, so this is exactly what um, I went through in crypto, exactly the same. And then what happened is, well, unlike most of his investors, he held on. And it went up a lot again, still didn't make up the high. It fell another 80%, it went up again. It then fell 60%. And then before you know it, this online bookseller was suddenly worth more than all the bookselling companies in the world added together. And it was still trading at a price earnings ratio of like 800. Everyone's like, this is crazy. This is a bubble. But what we. Now, he's not talking about a shit coin. He's not talking about Save Moon. He's not. No, like this is a real company, Amazon, right? He's talking about Amazon. The way he was describing it sounded like it was a shit coin. Went up, you know. Hundreds of percents down 96%, you know, back up, then down 80%. Okay. So that was the tech bubble. I always compare crypto to the tech bubble. Okay. There's a crypto bubble and I think it just popped. I think it already popped a couple months ago, actually. I've made a, vi a lot of videos on my channel talking about this. I literally have a video on my channel from seven months ago called the upcoming crypto bubble, where I pretty much just explained what I'm telling you right now, how I think it's going to be like the 2001 uh, crash with the tech stocks. And then I think Quant and HBAR, real companies that are building sustainable networks to stay, like endgame tokens, they're going to be here forever, right? They're not going anywhere. So those are the ones you want to invest in. That's why I'm saying this opportunity that's coming is going to be the opportunity of a lifetime, guys. So I think there's 30 more seconds of this clip and then we're going to move on. What he didn't realize is he was building a network 
this network for e-commerce and then the computing power that drives it, you know? And so over time, Amazon just did that. And these are the things- Yeah, see, Amazon wasn't just building a bookstore. They were building a network, right? If Amazon was just a bookstore, they would not be priced at what they are today, okay? That's why Quant and HBAR, they're building networks. They're not just, you know, doing what like Shiba Inu is doing, where they're like, oh, we have coin utility. Like, that's it, okay? That's it, really. Like, that's why people are buying it. Yeah, it's got a dog and it's got utility. All right, guys, let's let's buy some Shiba, right? Like, you know, if you look at Hedera Hashgraph, like, oh, I'm buying Hedera Hashgraph because it's the most superior way to send money on the planet, right? Um, Not just, oh, it's got utility, right? They're building networks, quant building networks, right? The DLT gateway, okay? No one's doing that, all right? Like, they're building networks. Things you need to think about in this is where are we in the volatility and is this going to survive? Those are the two questions. And if the long-term trend is there, then you should be buying into all of this. What are the smartest? All right, he said it perfectly, guys. Um, so we're going to end that clip there. If you want to watch the full clip, I'll leave it down in the description for you to watch. And moving on to these two tweets I'd like to show you. The last bull trend didn't play out as the previous ones. So why the F is everyone so tr sure? Sorry, I got a little tongue twister in my mouth. Still so sure that this bear trend will play out exactly like it did in the past. Okay. So right off the rip, totally 100% true. Why is everyone thinking that this is going to be like previous bear runs? If this bull run wasn't like the previous, right? So... Just to put in perspective, the whole crypto market is a 1.5 trillion roughly, okay? Um, the stock market's at about 70 to 80 trillion. When all the money starts leaving the stock market, what do you think is going to happen, all right? People are going to, you know, obviously want to buy cash. Some people will buy gold, but some people will buy crypto, okay? So I think there's going to be a big flip-flop that's going to happen, all right? So that's why I'm saying don't be so sure that you're going to have time to get H bar at an even lower ridiculous price. Okay. Six cents is pretty ridiculous guys. Uh, so, you know, don't get too greedy, right? I think, uh, I think, I think a lot of people are going to get greedy. They're going to be like, Oh, I'm going to pick up H bar at three cents, two cents. You know, at this point it's like, who cares? Maybe H bar does go to two cents. What, what does it matter if you get it at six cents right now? Right? If you're thinking of H bar long term. Why does it matter getting it at six cents, two cents, three cents? It's honestly all the, it's pretty much roughly all the same if you think about where it's going in the long term, right? It, like H bar is going to ten dollars, I think, in the next you know five ten years easily. So, at that point, does a couple cents really matter in that macro of a long term dot? No, it really doesn't. Okay, so then we're gonna go with this tweet from our boy Mason. I just want to skip to a time in the market where cryptos are actually valued according to how big the problem they solve is and how big their use case is. This is when you'll see XRP, HBAR, Quant, Algorand be worth more than the prices we talk about, okay? So true, right? Once the money goes into the actual projects that deserves it, that's when we'll have a crypto market. Right now, we don't have one because all the money's in shit this, shit that, and you know, we got stable coins that are also propping up the market, which isn't helping at all. Okay. But that doesn't discredit Hedera or Quant from what they're building. You know, when Tether collapses, is it going to be because Hedera all of a sudden sucks? No, it's because Tether is printing money up the ass thinking they could do it forever. Right. So you just got to know what's building networks, guys. Rao Paul said it perfectly. You know, once I saw this the other day, I was like, I got to share this with my YouTube channel. So you know, we're going to leave it at that, guys. Also, I forgot to play some music here. Um, I think that's all I really wanted to mention, though. Just these two tweets, guys. Okay. So, my strategy for this recession is I'm saving half of what I get for cash in case we go lower. And I'm investing half right now. Okay. Because even if it does start going lower, these prices, guys, in the long term, this is a steal. Okay. This is a steal. Crypto's not going anywhere. I don't think it's going anywhere. Um, again, not financial advice, not trying to get sued. 
strong financial opinion okay if you guys have any questions for me comments concerns let me know in the comments down below if you guys are enjoying these videos please subscribe to my channel it helps me out a lot lets me know i'm doing all right i know i haven't uploaded in a while um, but i'm gonna start uploading more i've just been working so much guys because the opportunity of a lifetime is coming okay you guys should be working your asses off right now and getting prepared for this right okay i just want to pull up my receipts real quick before i end this video all right, for all the new people, just know that I don't cut my videos. I just let myself run. If I make a mistake, like when I was talking earlier, I, you know, whatever. I don't cut it out. This is my raw, real input. Okay, seven months ago, I said the crypto bubble is about to pop. This was when Hedera Hashgraph was at like 40 cents. Okay, I've been talking about this. All right. I have so many videos, you know, the great reset. Um, the fiat system is coming, or the collapse is coming soon. Right? So many. So... You know, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to leave it at that. And thank you so much for watching. And I appreciate every single one of you. And thank you.